Tonight I've been preparing my <coughs> miniature uh, experimental cell plates for testing. They, they are these plates right here that measure approximately well exactly two inches wide and one and seven eighths inches high not including the extension tabs. Uh, tonight I've been sanding those, cleaning them off and right now I have them soaking in a 10% solution of Citrusurf 2050 which is basically citric acid diluted to 10% acidity. The temperature of the solution is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a uh, temperature gauge that was given to me by a friend and an associate. And right now you can see it is registering Mm, 58 degrees out in the garage tonight right now and this little disposable container is a Betty Crocker frosting container that I cleaned out tonight because the girls were making cupcakes today so this turned out to be very handy I'll just take this off and you can see inside I have my plates that doesn't show up very well let me get a light on this. Let me see if I can put a little more light. There we go. That's better. You can see I have the, the plates soaking in the citrus surf solution. This is 316L stainless, so it is not going to expunge a great deal of uh, ferrous oxide into this solution, although I am surprised to see that it, it did turn a little bit yellowish, and I've been stirring this around a little bit tonight just to keep the uh, solution moving around you can see I have uh, little pieces of uh, cable tie, plastic cable tie to keep them separated so that the solution is evenly s distributed. Now I'm going to take the temperature probe and I'll put it in the solution like that and we'll come over here and look at the meter and you can see 120 degrees Fahrenheit this uh, heating element is nothing more than a coffee cup heating pad that I dug out of my collection of unused items that I hung on to for the someday event which was today I had been looking around for one of those uh, heating elements that you uh, has a coil on the end that you immerse into a cup of coffee to heat the solution up, but most of those are made of aluminum and that would be completely unsuitable. It would be very difficult to find one made of stainless. This has been soaking for about 20 minutes and I'm going to let it go for another 10 minutes or so and then I will be rinsing them off in a tank of distilled water and from that point on they will not be touched by human hands.